What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Uh, I hope that y'all enjoyed that new intro. I'm going for a different, uh, clean, subtle look. Uh, I kind of like it. I don't know if you guys will. Uh, it's not dubstep and whatnot. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. Some Town Hall 7 base reviews for you guys. Um, I think the majority of my subscribers are in like the Town Hall 6 to 8 range. So, um... That's why I'm dropping a little lower. Next, I might do Town Hall 6 bases. And if you guys want yours reviewed, uh, just make sure you subscribe. And also send your pictures to basereviewswithmolt at gmail.com. Uh, send me your, in the subject line, what Town Hall you are, what level you are, and whether it's a trophy or a farming base so that I can go through them pretty quickly, all right? But let's go ahead and jump into this. I am going to pick out a new color brush to paint on here for us and that is huge <laughs> so we're gonna pick that and let's go ahead and talk about these bases so first off we've got Owen uh, he's got a farming base I mean not a farming base trophy base as you can see um, <clears throat> and it looks pretty good from the first look at it so he's got his mortars covering the whole base and he's got his wizards on opposing sides so that's awesome that's exactly what you want to do when it comes to covering a base is making sure that your splash damage does a great job of covering it because splash damage is life splash damage is life just like barch is life so very very important to do that so you did that well you also have your air defenses in the middle which is awesome very very great job with that um let's keep on working our way around the outside you've got uh cannon archer cannon archer Cannon Archer, Cannon, Cannon Archer. That's pretty good. I don't think I would change anything when it comes to that. So uh, great, great work on your point defenses as well. Uh, one thing I would do is switch some of these up. You've got two gold storages right next to each other, two of these storages or pumps, two of these pumps, and three of them up here. Uh, so I would just spread those out a little bit and maybe put a barrack or a builder's hut or something along those lines in between just so that when people attack they have to spread out a little bit more to get uh, the majority of your resources but overall honestly it's it's a good base for town hall 7 i don't think that i would change much um and guys if some of these are my bases uh that's awesome that you guys are using it i'm sorry if i don't recognize them i've probably made like 50 or so bases uh, this does look like one that i would make uh, so if I did, that's awesome you're using it. If I didn't, that's compliments to you because I really like the base. So awesome job, Owen. Let's move on. We're going to go to Rajan, I believe is his name. Uh, and again, this is another trophy base, and he's got all the same stuff as Owen did. He's got his wizards on opposing sides, he's got triangulated mortars, and he's got his air defenses on opposing sides. So that's great. A lot of times you see Town Hall 7 bases that aren't too good, but this is a pretty good base. Uh, the first two bases in this have been awesome. So we've got Archer, Cannon, Archer, Cannon, Archer, Cannon, Cannon, Archer, Cannon. So we just doubled up right here. Uh, now it's a smiley face. But <laughs> that's uh, that's good. That's perfectly fine. I'm definitely okay with that. I do like what you've got going on with these little trap sections right here uh, where people can come in. You got them on both sides of the base, so that's great for kiting troops around and uh, distracting them while the defenses shoot at them. So anybody who's in here is going to work their way around all the while the mortars and the wizard tires are going to crush them. And that's the same for this little section right here. You got the king over there that might uh, hurt them a little bit, etc., etc. So that's great. Uh, you did the same thing that Owen did to a certain extent where you've got all resources right here um, and it looks like you've got all resources down here in the corner as well so I would just switch that up so that people can't steal as much from you and uh, you're doing good looks like you're using the BAM strategy that's a good strategy uh, your army camps are full awesome uh, <laughs> obviously when you're watching this they aren't full right now unless you're training up the same thing but Barch is freaking awesome so great job using Barch and moving up um, you do, I'm not sure, it looks like you're upgrading, yep, you are definitely upgrading some stuff, so awesome job there. Keep on upgrading, keep going after those walls, and you will get there. Uh, Town Hall 7 is definitely a fun level, I remember being uh, Town Hall 7, it was a lot of fun. I still have my Town Hall 7 base uh, with my Clash Without Walls, but I digress. Let's move on to uh, Hyper Minecraft, looks like that's your name. This is a farming base, but one thing that I noticed right off the bat is that we're going to go through the core of the base right here. Okay, so this is the core of the base. The only resource that is in there 
is your Dark Elixir. So this is not that effective of a farming base. You definitely, definitely need to get some of your other resources in there. I do like the base. The layout looks awesome. But I might... Um, I would find something from the center to take out so that you can protect a little bit more of your gold. Maybe move the wizard tower right here or something along those lines. Um, but there's just nothing in the middle that's protecting your resources. So if anybody... Nobody's going to attack from down here for resources because there aren't any resources right there. People are going to attack from right here and people are going to attack from right here. And they're going to, they could easily get all of your resources with, um, with Barch. It is good, however, that you have your mortars within range of all of this because um, those will definitely help protect. But I would definitely consider either moving your air defenses out uh, or something along those lines because right now you're not protecting your resources too well. In fact, this might even be a better place for your resources because if someone drops down Barch, they're going to have to uh, come in and attack this and then probably move on over here or move to the gold storage and whatnot. Um, so that might be a better place if you want to do that and then scoot your mortars out to here maybe. Uh, that's up to you. I do like the mortar placement currently, but you just got to figure out something to do with your resources to move those in. Otherwise, everything looks good. You've got all these things spread out over here, spread out. You got your barrack in the middle of those. Good stuff down here. Great trap placement and whatnot. Like I said, I like the base. It's just that you're not protecting your resources too well. So I'm not sure what the base is designed for, but it is a good base. Keep upgrading and whatnot. And uh, yeah, you'll keep moving on up move on to Aditya. Uh, this is another trophy base. You're protecting your town hall, obviously. Uh, you got your mortars in a triangle, which is awesome. You got your wizard. They're kind of far apart. Um, I might put the wizards... In fact, I would definitely do this. I would put the wizards right in here, um, since you've got two archers right next to each other. So spread that out. Put your archers right here and switch that with the wizards so that the wizards are a little more centralized than they are currently. Um, you got your king in the middle, you got your clan castle in the middle, awesome, awesome. Your air defenses are super close down here. You've got nothing protecting uh, the top with air defenses. Like all of this right now, There's since there aren't archer towers up here, all of this is subject to air defense attacks. There are the Teslas, but those will get taken out pretty easily. Um, so I might just put your air defenses right here Maybe just spread them out a little bit because right now they're way too close together. Um, so spread those out just a little bit. You should be good. Um, and then once you put your archer towers right here, you'll have archer, cannon, archer, cannon, cannon, archer, cannon, archer. So that'll be great. Definitely, though, move your wizard towers down. Um, they should be a little more protected there as well. And they'll help protect your gold and uh, whatnot. So... Oh, excuse me. I would definitely do that. Also, dude, you got to get more builders. I know it's hard, but save up your gems uh, from... Looks like you've used all of them. Save up your gems that you get from gem boxes and clearing stuff out and get that third builder because that's super, super important uh, for you. But otherwise, I like the layout. I think it's an okay trophy base. Once you move your archers up some, uh, it should help out a little bit. So good job. Let's move on to Dirty Venom. I hope that the Venom isn't dirty, but this is the highest level of all the ones that we're going through. You've got great walls. This is a very, very well upgraded base. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, I think that these walls are a little wasted. Um, I would try and put them somewhere else that uh, they might help out a little bit more. Um, because, I don't know. Maybe even if you just put them out like this that's what I would do put them out like that and throw some throw a building in here and a building right there just to help a little bit because right now nothing that that's not going to affect anything um ooh, I just got really hungry so <laughs> if I were you that's what I would do I would bring the walls out like this uh and put something right behind them but that's just me so biggest thing for you is I would say that so far uh, your mortars are triangulated well your air defense is crushing it in the middle it looks like you've got a troll is this a troll base I'm not sure if anything can spawn in there it doesn't look like they can but they might be able to 
Uh, <laughs> I don't think they can, though. It's all too compact. Um, but that's pretty good. I mean, if somebody comes in there, if somebody attacks from this side of the base, they're going to get your town hall for sure uh, because it is too far off to the side. So I would consider centering your town hall and putting the traps right up there. Uh, we just made a little bug, as you can see from the drawing. <laughs> but I would do that. I would move your town hall down to the middle for sure. Um, but otherwise, it looks pretty good. You got Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon all the way around. So great job with that. Your wizards are in a pretty good spot. I might try and put them a little bit more centralized, if I were you. Uh, maybe throw your air defenses out here and put your wizard towers in here. That's what I would do personally because I think wizard towers are more important than air defenses. And that way they will be protecting... Um, well, I mean, they'll still be protecting the same amount of loot. So that's just up to you. <clears throat> I would definitely do that. Again, I would do something with these walls down here. I would move your wizard towers in because they're super important. Um, and then maybe even put the walls... If you're going to leave your town hall there, bring those other walls up here and throw some buildings behind them just to deter the troops a little bit more at the top of the base because if they attack heavy from the top, they're definitely going to get your town hall. So either move your town hall to the center or if you're going to leave it there, then take these walls right down here and put them up here. But that's going to be it for that base and the video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you want your base to be reviewed, make sure that you send me a photo with a subject line with your town hall level, town hall uh, shape. So whether it is a farming base or a trophy base. And uh, yeah, send that to baseofviewsmode.gmail.com. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. You guys rock. And as always, I'm going to need you to make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? Make sure you sub if you haven't already, and take care, guys. Peace.